a ballerina. Today, my friends and I are rehearsing the Cinderella Ballet by the Russian composer Provolinsky. Now remember, AJ, you're the prince arriving at the ball, so walk proudly. AJ makes a great prince. And with that beautiful tutu, you're the perfect Cinderella. Thank you. I couldn't wait to wear it, so I put it on for the rehearsal. Where on earth did you find it? Actually, it's a bit like the Cinderella story. <laughs> well, now I'm interested. Well, it all started when Holly and I were playing hide and seek in the attic just after we moved to our new house. <gasps> oh! Three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. costume for ballerinas. I want a tutu too. This tutu isn't even mine. I just found it in this box. But I wish it did belong to me. Whose is it then? Good question. And how did it get in our attic? I don't know. Do you think it could be Mum's from when she was little? Let's go and ask her. Dad, look at this tutu we found in the attic. We think it's Mum's. Hmm. Well, your mother is out running errands. You can ask her when she gets back. Polly, if this tutu is Mum's, wouldn't she have given it to us already? I suppose so. And if she was trying to hide it from us in the attic, she knows we'd find it sooner or later. Yes, we're good snoops. This tutu must have been someone else's. But whose? Wait a minute. Dad, didn't Mrs Thimble live in this house when she was a mouseling? Oh, yes, she did. Perhaps Mrs Thimble knows whom the tutu belonged to. Perhaps it's even hers. Let's go and ask her. Dad, we're going to Mrs Thimble's shop. Just make sure you're home for lunch at 12. That's when Mum will be back from her errands. We will, Dad. We'll be back at 12. On the dot. We didn't have much time, but we had to find out who the tutu belonged to. So, now the prince waltzes Cinderella across the stage. One, two, three. One, two, three. I see what you mean, Angelina. Your story is like Cinderella. Yes, finding the tutu is sort of like finding the glass slipper. And then looking for its real owner. And still make it home before the clock strikes 12. Exactly. So just listen to what happened next. Hi, Mr. Thimble. Oh, hello, mouselings. Can we ask you a question? Certainly. Just give me a moment. I'm gathering items for an order that was placed over the phone. Polly, look at this. It's a picture of a ballerina. Not just any ballerina, Polly. Doesn't she look like someone we know? Mrs Thimble? This tutu could be... hers! I'm sure the tutu belonged to Mrs Thimble. 
She probably used to be a famous ballerina. A super famous ballerina. Why, Angelina, I just love your beautiful tutu. Isn't it your beautiful tutu? No, I've never owned a tutu like that. <laughs> I've never owned a tutu at all. But isn't this you in the photo? Actually, that's my sister, Mrs Nimble. She used to be quite the dancer. She looks just like you. We looked exactly alike. But I was never as nimble on my toes as her. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> See? If this tutu isn't Mrs Thimble's, then whose is it? Angelina, look at all those things. <gasps> Everything's hot pink, just like the tutu. Yes, those are the things I was gathering together for the phone order from Ms Mimi. <gasps> Ms Mimi? Yes, Ms Mimi just loves the colour pink. That's why she ordered these hot pink markers, this hot pink notebook, and this beautiful hot pink umbrella. Could the tutu be Ms Mimi's? But how did it get in our house? Let's ask her. Mrs Thimble, we can take those to Ms Mimi for you. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Angelina. We're going to find the tutu owner. Hooray! Soon, I hope, because it's almost 12 o'clock. <laughs> Listen, Mouselings, the waltz is getting faster, more intense. It's almost midnight. So, did the tutu belong to Miss Mimi? Well, remember in Cinderella, the prince has to try the slipper on lots and lots of Mouselings. Yes, it takes him a long time to find the true owner. Exactly. Well, listen to what happened next. I found Miss Mimi in the dance studio. Hi, Miss Mimi. Hello. Hello, Mouselings. Mrs. Thimble said you'd be bringing me the things I ordered from the shop. Thank you very much. Um, we also brought something else. Oh, really? What? She's wearing it. What do you mean? My tutu. I mean, your tutu. It is yours, isn't it? Oh, Angelina, I didn't even notice the tutu. It's yours, yes? I was going to say it's beautiful. But no, it's not mine. I was so sure the tutu was Miss Mimi's, but it wasn't. It looked like our search was not over. It's not yours. Are you sure? I'm sure. I would definitely remember owning a tutu like that. Hmm. Then it must belong to someone else. But who? We were completely out of ideas. Now it is midnight. Hear how the music sounds like a ticking clock. Cinderella, it's time to go. Tutu belonged to Miss Mimi. So did we, and now we had to get home by 12. Just like Cinderella had to be home by midnight. Finish the story, Angelina. What happened next? Well, Polly and I had almost given up on finding the Tutu's owner. You made it home in time for lunch. Pea soup with cheese sandwiches. Uh, I thought you loved pea soup. It's 
not that, Dad. It's this tutu. What's wrong with it? I think it's rather pretty. It's stupendous. But we spent all morning trying to find the owner and we haven't even come close. Not even a teeny bit close. <sighs> um, I... I'm not sure what to tell you. If only you could tell us who used to own my tutu. Your tutu? Yes, that's mine from when I was a little mouseling. I took a few ballet classes, you know. But why were you hiding the tutu in the attic? Oh, it must have been in the box that Grandma just sent me. That's right. She said she was cleaning out her garage. And she found some of my old things. I haven't had a chance to look through the box yet. I expect you would have if you knew there was a special hot pink tutu in it. That's true. I would have given it to you right away. But then we wouldn't have had our adventure. Yes, we went all over. Looking for the owner of the tutu, even though it was our very own mum. The, the whole time. time. <laughs> so that's how you got your tutu. I told you it was a good story. Positions, everyone. The show's about to start. And Cinderella gets to wear the best hot pink tutu ever. ballerina and today chipping cheddar's in a carnival mood and it's all because of Marco AJ. What? I... I... <sighs> Marco, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, Vicky. It's just... <sighs> You're not fine at all. What's the matter, Marco? I know this sounds silly, but in a couple of days from now, it's going to be the Costa Mouse Carnival! Costa Mouse Carnival? Yes, it's where I used to live before we moved to Chipping Cheddar. And every year they'd have a carnival. There'd be music and dancing and a carnival queen. A carnival queen? I like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be a carnival without a carnival queen. Oh, I wish we could have a carnival. And then we'd have a great big conga dance with bongo drums and maracas and cowbells and would party, party, party! Conga dance? Is that hard to do? It's the easiest dance in the world. Here, put your paws around my waist. You sort of bounce then shake your leg like this. La 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 la. Angelina, <gasps> you grab hold of Alice. And then Gracie, you join in, and Vicky. La 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 Oh, but we're not in Costa Mouse, are we? But we could be. We could have our own mini Costa Mouse Carnival right here in Chipping Cheddar, especially for Marco. Vicky, that's a brilliant idea. Shh. I think I'll go home and. Oh. Bye bye, Marco. I hope you feel better. Thanks. See you tomorrow. So, what do we do for this carnival? Well, first, we're going to need some instruments. Dad! Dad! 
Angelina, is everything all right? Yes, it couldn't be writer. Writer, is that a word? I think it is now. So what's all the excitement? Vicky's had a great idea. See, Marco was feeling a bit down in the dumps. So we're going to have a Costa Mouse and Carnival right here in Chippy Cheddar. <laughs> and they'll be dancing and things and Hey, all... hey, whoa! Slow down. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. So do we have any instruments we can use for the carnival? Well, I think I've got a set of bongos somewhere. Will they be any good? They'd be great. But we'll need some other instruments as well. We want to make it a real Costa Mouse and Carnival. Well, why don't we go and see what I've got in my shop? Oh, thank you, Mr. Mouseling. Right. Now I'll go and see what I've got. I'm sure Dad has something just right for... Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Dad, are you all right? Yeah, fine. <sighs> Bit of a wobbly shelf. These ought to fit the bill. A pair of maracas. Great. Thank you, Mr. Mouseling. And what's that? This is a cowbell. How's that? Sounds fantastic! Thanks, Dad. We promise we'll take really good care of them and bring them back. Come on, Angelina. Let's go to the lunchtime theatre. We can practice before Marco gets there. Angelina, when is this carnival of yours? The day after tomorrow. Everyone's coming. It's going to be great! Ah. Uh, Dad, is something wrong? I think you forgot. It's Polly's birthday the day after tomorrow. I did forget. So, aren't you going to blow out your birthday candles, Polly, darling? Mm. What about your present? Aren't you going to open it? Mm -mm -mm. What's the matter, Polly? It's your birthday. You should be having fun. I can't have any fun. This is the worst birthday ever. <laughs> because Angelina isn't here. Everyone, look what I've got! <laughs> <gasps> well done, Vicky! <laughs> Great! And Angelina's got some bongos. Yes. Come on, Angelina. Join in! No, you play the malice. You'd better get some practice in. Angelina? What's the matter? Dad reminded me. Our carnival's on the same day as Polly's birthday. And we'd got everything planned to make it a really great day for her. She'd be really disappointed if I wasn't there to celebrate. Oh. Hmm. So sorry, everyone. I won't be able to help with the carnival. Oh, no. But don't worry, we'll try to manage. It just won't be the same without you, Angelina. I feel awful. I was so looking forward to the carnival, but Polly... Well, Polly's birthday will be fun too. If only there was a way Angelina could be in the carnival too. <laughs> to go in and get him. I'll do that. Hi, Marco. Are you all right? Well, as okay as I could be on the day of the Costa Mouser Carnival that I'm not going to. 
Ah. What is it, AJ? Um, Vicky wants to see you. What about? Um, I think she said it was about something really interesting. She's in the lunchtime theatre. All right, AJ. But why are you holding a cowbell? All right. Is everyone ready? Ready! Marco's on his way! Great! You know what to do! What did you want, Vicky? To give you your very own carnival right here in Chipping Cheddar! Huh? Ah! Oh! It's just like Costa Mousa! But where's Angelina? That's the next part of the surprise. You leave the carnival to Mrs Thimble's, then meet me at Angelina's house. All right. I just need to get the carnival queen ready. Uh huh? <laughs> Never mind. You'll see when you get there. Now let's get the carnival started. Hooray! Hooray! the carnival. Oh, I just popped over with a birthday present for Polly. That's really sweet of you. Do you want to come in and give it to her? Mm-hmm. Hi, Vicky. It's my birthday. Yes, it is, Polly. And I've brought you a present. A present? That's right. <sighs> what is it? It's a scepter. The carnival queen has to carry it at the carnival procession. I think Vicky's asking you to be Carnival Queen. But I'm still too little. Well, you can be Carnival Princess then. Carnival. It seems to be coming to our house. And a carnival princess is going to need a carriage. Follow me! Your carriage awaits, Your Highness. Teacher Ms. Mimi is doing an exciting modern dance performance at school. Look! That was great! Ms. Mimi's dancing is fantastic! Yes, she even makes the hard steps look easy. Bravo, Miss Mimi! You were great! <whistles> Sounds like Mr Chirpy Face liked the performance too. Has he been at school all day? Yes, I bring him for good luck when I have a performance. 
He makes me happy and gives me a lot of cheerful support. He's lucky he gets to watch you perform. Yes, your modern dance was magnificent. Mm. I hope one day dancing's as easy for me as it is for you. Thank you, Mouselings. But the truth is, there was nothing easy at all about my performance. Uh -huh. Huh? It took a lot of work preparing for this dance. And I mean a lot. It all started this morning before school. I was about to practice my modern dance. It was inspired by twirling, drifting autumn leaves. You see, modern dance is very free and its movements express feelings. I was about to rehearse when... <gasps> just say, I felt just like a leaf in the wind at that moment. So that's what you meant when you said it wasn't easy to prepare? That's not all I meant. Because things didn't get any easier at lunch. Just when I was about to dig into a healthy meal with lots of protein. Oh, what's wrong, Mr Chirpy Face? Would you like to come out of your cage? <gasps> Wait! Come back here with my lunch! That's when we saw you in the lunchtime theatre. And you didn't look very happy. I had planned the perfectly healthy meal to prepare me for my performance and Mr Chirpy Face was flying away with it. And I thought he was going to get away. Well, I knew he would come back to his cage because he always does. But I wasn't so sure about my lunch. Oh. Oh, oh, come back! Oh, this is bad news. Give us back Miss Mimi's lunch. Good, you came back. But where's my lunch? Look, Miss Mimi, it's over there. On the ground. Thanks for your help, Mouselings. Hmm. What a shame. You lost your lunch. Sorry, Miss Mimi, but we'd better get to class. Oh, no. Now what am I going to do? Hmm. Luckily, I remembered that I always have an apple and some protein bars with me, which could help give me energy to dance. So then, I'm sure it was easy to prepare for your performance. I only wish that were true. Next, it was time to go to the dance studio to try to rehearse once again. Wait a minute. Are you sure you needed to rehearse, Miss Mimi? All dancers, no matter how long they've been dancing, have to rehearse. There was only half an hour during the day when the dance studio wasn't being used. So imagine my surprise to find that when I got to the dance studio... Whoa! The floor had just been waxed and was very slippery. And getting out of the dance studio wasn't easy. <gasps> oh! So I tried... And tried... Oh! No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> we remember that waxy floor. Yes, we felt like ice skaters too. Hello, Miss Mimi. And dangerous, too. And it wasn't so funny for you, Miss Mimi. I must admit, I was having a hard time finding the humour. I really needed that time to rehearse. What a pity. And you didn't have anywhere to practice. And your performance was only a few hours away. 
That's right, but I couldn't stop to think about that because it was time for maths class. So, if we had two plates, each holding three pieces of cheese, how many pieces of cheese would we have? AJ. Hmm? Two plates times three pieces of cheese equals six. Correct. You mouselings are just so good at multiplication. Please leave your homework on my desk. I hope to see you all at this evening's performance. Wouldn't miss it. Bye. See you later. <sighs> What a day! First that blast of wind, then Mr Chirpy Face dropped my lunch. The protein bars didn't fill me up. I couldn't rehearse in the dance studio because of the waxed floor. And now I'm not only hungry, but also really thirsty. Luckily, I remember to pack my water bottle. Oh dear. My problems are multiplying. I dried off the maths homework when I was met with a happy surprise. Hello, Ms Mimi. We brought you some yummy tofu and vegetables. We made this in our after-school cooking class. But, Ms Mimi, why is there water all over the desk? I had a little mishap. I can take care of that. Oh, this looks delicious. We just learned that tofu has protein, which helps us grow. Yes, and vegetables have carbohydrates. Protein and carbohydrates help build muscle and give me energy to dance. Here you go, Ms Mimi. Thank you so much for filling up my water bottle, Gracie. Dancers also need lots of water to help them perform at their best. Thank you. So we helped with your performance? Yes, and now that I'd eaten, there was only one thing to do. What was that, Miss Mimi? Practice. But I thought the dance studio wasn't free for the rest of the day. And the floors were too slippery. So how did you manage? A performer must always find a way to practice, even if it takes a little creativity. The dance studio wasn't available, but the classroom was. And the floors weren't slippery there. I found out that hallways are nice to rehearse in too. So I got to practice my falling leaf modern dance in very unusual locations. Until Rock 4 Hall was finally available. I always like to go through the steps one last time before I'm in front of an audience. And we already know the end of the story. Yes, you gave a wonderful performance. Stupendous! He looks happy. It looks like Mr Chirpy Face thinks you had a wonderful performance too. <laughs> <laughs> Making it look easy is not as easy as it looks. Making it look easy is not as easy as it looks. It takes time and patience and care. You can't do pirouettes in your chair. You go day by day by day by day. It takes will to find a way. Because making it look easy is not as easy as it looks. So you try and try and try and try. And the time goes by and by and by. Through thick and thin, it takes discipline. And you Is not as easy as it looks. Making it look easy is not as easy as it looks. Making it look easy is not as easy as it looks. Thank you, Mouselings. 
But now you can see that it wasn't so easy. Yes. Hmm. I think I'm ready for a nap after a day like today. <sighs> we better leave you to rest, Ms. Mimi. Thank you, Mouselings. You know, if Miss Mimi has to work so hard before a performance... We have to work very, very hard. You're right. We should practice right Ooh. now. Uh, Angelina? <laughs> Let's practice somewhere else. After the hard day Ms. Mimi's had, we wouldn't want to wake her up now. Mm. I'm Angelina Ballerina. Tomorrow is AJ's birthday and AJ doesn't want any of us to forget. Tomorrow is the most special day of the year for me. But you mouselings don't have to spoil me or anything. Oh, all right, AJ. We won't. You can count on us. Oh, right. Angelina! Guess what? I can hear something. What is it? It's... It's... It's my birthday! It's tomorrow and it's getting closer all the time. Is it tomorrow? Oh, stupendous! Uh-huh. And my grandparents have said that for my present, I could choose anything I want from Mrs Thimble's shop. Yes! Because tomorrow is my birthday! Tomorrow is my birthday! Tomorrow is my birthday! Because tomorrow is my birthday! Tomorrow is my birthday! <gasps> That's a cheesy sea cap! Signed by Hip Hop Superstar Cheesy Z! I'm going to tell my grandma and grandpa that this is exactly what I want for my birthday. I'll come back after I talk to them. AJ has absolutely no idea that we're going to throw a surprise birthday party for him. He thinks we don't really care. But we do! But where is Marco? He promised to help us. Oops! Careful! <gasps> oh, excuse me! Coming through! <gasps> Whoa! Uh, AJ! Sorry, Marco, but I'm in a real hurry. I'm going back to Mrs Thimble's shop to get something unbelievably amazing! But I got AJ's present. Wonderful. What did you choose? Uh, it's uh. Stupendous! <laughs> An amazing present and a surprise party. AJ is going to be so happy. Hello. Oh, AJ <gasps> Mouse coming in the house. <gasps> AJ. <gasps> Hi! Hi, Hi AJ! AJ. <gasps> Guess what? Uh, what? I just found out that the one thing I wanted for my birthday is gone! Oh, that's terrible, AJ! Awful! Poor you! But there's no point just sitting there getting down about it! Oh? There isn't? No! You should, um, come for a walk with me to cheer yourself up. A walk? Yes! yes. <laughs> Isn't walking great? I suppose. But having a cheesy Z cap for my birthday would have been much better. 
AJ, your birthday's next week, isn't it? No, it's tomorrow. Oh, yes. I've got to go. Bye. Oh? Oh, my birthday is tomorrow and the Cheesy Z cap is gone. If this happened to Cheesy Z, how would he cheer himself up? I know, he dance! Yes! Cheesy Z wouldn't need a hat to have fun. If I can't have the Cheesy Z hat, I can at least do a Cheesy Z dance. First, he'd do the Cheesy Z foot drive. Heel and toe, heel and toe, heel and toe, heel and toe. And now, his famous Cincinnati step. I can do the foot drive, but the Cincinnati step doesn't look quite right. Oh, I get it! I flick my foot! Just like Cheesy Z! Yes! Go Cheesy! Go Cheesy! <laughs> I feel a lot better! What else would Cheesy Z do if it was his birthday? He'd throw a party for all his friends! Yes, he would! Angelina? Which do you like best? Musical chairs or pass the parcel? Um, musical chairs? Excellent! Vicky! Oh! What do you like best? Cheesy twists or cheese and pineapple bites? Um, cheese and pineapple bites. Thanks! <laughs> You're welcome. Marco! Do you like banana cheesecake or extra cheesy cheesecake? You know I like extra cheese anything. So do I. Hmm? Oh, great. I think AJ is planning a party. He must be because he's asking us all what we like best. But this will spoil the surprise party we're going to give him. So what should we do? We'll all just have to be busy tomorrow. Absolutely, positively busy. Foot drive! And Cincinnati step! I can't wait to show everyone this at my party! Hey, Mouselings! I'm having a birthday party tomorrow and you're all invited! Oh, sorry AJ, I'd love to but, um... I have to go out with my mum and dad all day yes me too angelina's mum and dad uh, want me to go too oh marco you can come can't you no i um my mum and dad don't want me going out tomorrow why not um because i've uh, got to go to the dentist mm. that's it the dentist <laughs> Bye! But... 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 I can't have a birthday party if none of you come! There! It's all absolutely, positively perfect! Well done, us! Yes! Fantastic! I can't wait to see AJ's face! It'll look like this! Wow! Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> you mouselings are super, super cool! <laughs> <gasps> huh? For me? 
DJ Mouse is in the house. <laughs> so all we need is AJ. I'll go and find him. So, is everyone having a good time? Yes, thanks, AJ. This birthday party is great. I can't believe everyone came. And the decorations look amazing. Oh. oh, this is the worst birthday I have ever had. All my friends are busy and I'm by myself. Oh, if only I had the cheesy Z cap or someone to spend the day with. Hi, AJ. Marco! <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, you can let go now. You're back from the dentist. Uh, yes. And anyway, I want to spend today with my best friend. Me too. What do you feel like doing? We could go to my house and listen to Cheesy D's latest song and do some hip-hop dancing and then... Let's go for a walk in the park. But... I've just been in the park. Well, we'll, um, go a different way. But, but, but... This is a really long way to get to the park, Marco. I know. I just need to get something from Angelina. But isn't Angelina out with her family all day? Marco, we shouldn't be here if Angelina isn't. But why are there... Surprise! Surprise! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, AJ! Is it... a party? For me? Sorry we pretended we were all busy. And sorry you thought we didn't care. We do so much! Happy birthday, AJ. Got it for me! Yes! I'm... I'm so happy! I could just dance! Just like Cheesy Z! Go Cheesy! Go Cheesy! Go Cheesy! Go Cheesy! Go Cheesy! Go cheesy.